Oh, well, hello everyone. Uh, happy Sunday. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video updating my female Davis Penelorus, the Costa Rican Tiger Rump. Uh, this is Tika. Um, this is the enclosure she was in, and I wanted to move her. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to this size yet or not, um, because you know they only get about four inches. And, but I did have my four-inch Hapalopa species Columbia large in this at full grown. She was full grown, not even actually. She was about probably the same size as uh, what she, what uh, Tika is now. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do it. So uh, I moved her today, and what I did is I went with a wood-based theme with this one. Uh, she's a very good Weber. Hopefully she doesn't come out here. Um, you can see I just put a lot of different webs or the, yeah, different, webs, different pieces of wood in there some with dried lichen uh, this was the piece of wood that she had all webbed up and there she is right there uh, water dish some silk leaves just to keep the color you know, some contrast I'm hoping that you know actually that she'll probably go into this area back here or web in this area but I imagine all this will get webbed over that's uh, pretty much what she did in her last enclosure. So I'm going to try and feed her because uh, I do like to feed pretty quickly after a rehouse. Um, I just, I like, like I said a million times, I like them to know that there's food available and that I think that helps them be more secure. If she doesn't eat it, uh, when I get home from work, I'll take it out. But, uh, you know, she will get used to this pretty quick. And yeah, she hasn't eaten in a little while, so I'm hopefully... This is going to be a nice big meal for her, a uh, male red runner. We'll see what happens. Um, I just don't want the male red runner to climb up that and then get out, but hopefully she... I'm going to put this back here. Hopefully she'll, uh, she'll go after it and not come out of the enclosure. We should move her more towards the middle of the bed instead of towards the very end of where we're at right now. Okay, so the roach is right in front of her. She did kind of twitch a little. But no move towards attacking. So uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, there she is right there. Close up. This is a confirmed female. Um, not quite mature. But pretty close. I would say next molt she should be able to mature or mature enough to breed um, and the male that I have uh, hopefully they'll mature around the same time. Now they are from different breeders so they're from different sacks. Um, I've had her less time than I've had um, Nyack. Nyack I've had for uh, about two years. I've had her for about a year and a few months. Um, I had ordered one with a few other things and um, I think it was a six spider order and four of the six spiders came in DOA. One of them was a Davis Penelor, or uh, no, it wasn't a Davis Penelor, so it was something else. I can't remember what it was that I ordered, but she didn't have any more, so I substituted this one as the return shipment. So, pretty excited because it is a female. I really do like this species. They're good webbers. They're good eaters. Uh, they don't grow super fast, but they don't grow super slow. So, yeah, uh, we'll update maybe later tonight when I get home from work uh, and see the changes, and then uh, we'll do an update video maybe a week from now and see what she's done to the enclosure. Okay, uh, again, I uh, hope everybody has a great end to their weekend or beginning of their week, depending on where you're at in the wide world. Um, and thanks for watching, everybody. So there is the update on Tika. You can see, well, maybe you can't see, but she does have the roach. So it didn't take long after I put it in there and closed her up that uh, she got a hold of it. So that's going to be a good meal for her. And uh, we'll let her settle and we'll update her in about a week. Um, I keep them pretty dry 
Uh, I will overflow the water dish in the area, but I've never seen them really take to that area. So they, they kind of like the web area that they make and try to stay into that kind of a home. They will burrow if you give them enough substrate. I didn't really give them a ton or give her a ton, you know, maybe inch and a half. Some spots there's two inches. Um, I'd like her to web this all out, which is a dugout area right here, and she'll move dirt around as she feels need. Uh, she moved leaves around in her last enclosure. So. Okay, so that's her, and uh, thanks for watching.